I have risen, and I am with you still. Alleluia. You have laid your hand upon me. Alleluia. Too wonderful for me this knowledge. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. So we come at last to this wonderful Easter day, the day of resurrection. Surrexit Dominus Vere, Alleluia. The Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. And it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day to match the uh, nature of our celebrations here on Easter Sunday. The Mass is offered for the people of St Joseph's Parish. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I, and those with me, can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself, and also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to the people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live and recount his deeds. This day was made by the Lord, 
we rejoice and are glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died, and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now the Easter sequence. Christians to the Paschal victim offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the Lamb, and Christ the undefiled hath sinners to his Father reconciled. Death with life contended, combat strangely ended, life's own champion slain, yet lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way. The tomb the living did enclose, I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there attesting, shroud with grave clothes resting. Christ my hope has risen, he goes before you into Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast then in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen cloths lying on the ground, but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following, now came up went right into the tomb, saw the linen cloths on the ground, and also the cloth that had been over his head. This was not with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and he believed. Till this moment they had failed to understand the teaching of scripture that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There never was a time when someone went out to search for somebody and didn't find them and was overjoyed. Normally, when we look for somebody, we hope that we will find them. If not where we expect to find them, then somewhere else. But here, the very fact that Jesus was not found where he was expected to be was a cause of great joy. Why? Of course, because they expected him to be in the tomb, lying dead. But he was not there. And the grave clothes attest to this. Shroud with grave clothes resting. And so we see that Christ is risen. He should have been dead. He should have been in the tomb, as it were, dead and buried. But he was not. On the third day, he had risen, body and soul. 
this is a physical reality as well as a spiritual one it's not just some kind of ethereal thing with Jesus floating around with a spirit somewhere no he has risen body and soul we'll see later on that he uh, you know says you know a ghost has no flesh and blood like you see I can have when he appears to his disciples so we rejoice that someone who was where they were expected to be isn't there it's a surprise it's a, a change in what we're used to seeing and sometimes we see chance we, we see uh, circumstances like this in our own lives we might say they're little episodes of resurrection in our own experience last week we were asking prayers for a little baby little Charles Emmanuel Yates who was born just the week before this last one he's still only I don't know what 10 days old something like that very small baby but when he was born he was very poorly it was quite distressing because he was born at the Vic and he had to be taken to Preston and his mother was not well enough to travel and so his father went with him and the little boy had been fitting he was very unwell and the prospects did not look very promising so everybody prayed the parish prayed and uh, we're all remembering him in our prayers and intentions and the great news this week is that the little boy is so much better they have called him Charles Emmanuel uh, it's interesting really because Charles uh, reminds us of St Charles Borromeo who was a great saint of another plague time back in 1576 he was Archbishop of Milan and was very much involved in the uh, uh, organization of things in the city uh, he had to close all the churches and made sure that the mass was celebrated at the crossroads for people to come to their windows to see mass because they couldn't gather in the churches because of this terrible plague but he did much other work as well to try and help those in need throughout this time Charles Borromeo was a great saint of the church of course as well as being uh, Bishop of Milan and Emmanuel of course reminds us that God is with us and this great story of the resurrection is with us just as surely today as it was back then and even though we might be as it were trapped in our homes to a certain extent uh, under uh, quite severe restrictions from what we are normally accustomed to it doesn't matter because we can break out of that in a certain sense St Paul tells us in his readings let your thoughts be on heavenly things not on the things that are here on earth because you have died and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God there's a certain sense that we have a life that is with him and already is risen but when Christ is revealed and he is your life you too will be revealed in all your glory with him until then we get little glimpses of this such as with the story of little Charles Emmanuel Yates we wish him the very best and his parents uh, Joseph and Danielle and all his family the Yates family and of course all those who've been taking care of him uh, at Preston Hospital and indeed we pray for all those who are ill at this time uh, all those who have been uh, victims of this virus we pray for those who have died uh, that they may one day uh, be reunited with their loved ones in the resurrection we pray for those who are sick and all those who are suffering in any way under the burden of this virus the Lord is risen and comes to all our hearts to set us free in a way that nothing can take away for nothing can separate us from the love of Christ that tr Christ is truly risen from the dead we know victorious King thy mercy show I'm going to invite you now to uh, a renewal of baptismal promises which is a little different from what we normally do I thought it was very important that perhaps we could all have the opportunity to do this 
on this day when normally we would renew our baptismal promises uh, which would be done by way of questions and answers do you believe I do and all the rest of it so we're going to do it uh, in a way that I did last night and I would uh, invite you when it comes to the actual uh, statements of renewal of faith and renunciation of sin to simply echo each statement as I make it you may not have access to a lit candle uh, as I will and I'm going to uh, light the candle from the Paschal candle which I've moved over to the other side of the altar so that you can see it I'm just not tall enough, I'm afraid. <laughs> Through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, I renew the promises of holy baptism, by which I once renounced Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. So if you would perhaps like to echo after me, I renounce Satan. I renounce all his works. I renounce all his empty show. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. We turn to God our Father, who gave us Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, risen from the dead, victor of all sin, suffering and death, that in faith and trust we make prayers for ourselves, for the Church and for the world. We pray for our Pope Francis, for all the bishops, clergy and people that we may be renewed in our faith at this time of Easter and be faithful disciples of the Gospel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our world at this time, wracked by the virus pandemic. We pray for all those who have died, for those who are suffering in any way, for those who care for the sick, and all those who have given of themselves in service of those in need. We pray for a swift end to the pandemic and for a return to uh, peace and freedom for all the people affected at this time. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On this day of resurrection, we pray especially for our brothers and sisters who are persecuted for their faith, that they may know the freedom of Christ in their hearts at this time of resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our parishes, for St. Joseph's and St. Peter's. We pray for all our people, especially those who have to remain in their homes, for those who are worried about the health of a loved one. We pray that the Lord may bless us and strengthen us at this time and renew us in faith, hope and charity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the souls of all the faithful departed, especially those who have died recently or whose anniversaries are at about this time. Remember also all those who are sick. We pray also for uh, those who are worried about their own health. We pray for those who care for the sick and all those who are in hospital, in care homes or in the hospice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask now for the prayers of Mary, the mother of the risen Lord, as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray in a moment of silence for our own private needs and intentions. Almighty Father, hear the prayers of your children who cry out in faith and hope to you, O Lord, and grant what we ask as it is in accord with your faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he dest has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, and all those who, hand, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Sorry, celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogamus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light and peace. To us also, your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity Perpetua, Agatha Lucy, Agnes Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, Admit as we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For well, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, hallelujah. Therefore let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth, hallelujah, hallelujah. O oh, sacrament most holy, O oh, sacrament divine, O oh, praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O oh, sacrament most holy, O oh, sacrament divine, O oh, praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O oh, sacrament most holy, O oh, sacrament divine, O oh, praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favour, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just to wish you all a very happy and a holy and a peaceful and a joyful Easter in the midst of all that's going on. I pray that the Lord may set your hearts free in the way that only he can and that you may enjoy this great season and be renewed in your faith, hope and love. So we're going to have um, the solemn blessing uh, after each part, the response is Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. May he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I thought we might finish with a hymn and what better but thine be the glory thine be the glory risen conquering song endless is the victory thou or death hast won angels in bright raiment roll the stone away Kept the folded grave clothes where thy body lay. Thine be the glory, risen conquering song. Endless is the victory, thou or death hast won. Lo, Jesus meets us. Risen from the tomb, lovingly he greets us, scatters fear and gloom. Let the church with gladness hymns of triumph sing, for her Lord is living 
death has lost its sting. Thine be the glory, risen conquering song. Endless is the victory, thou or death hast won. No more we doubt thee, glorious Prince of Life. Life is not without thee, aid us in our strife. Make us more than conquerors through thy deathless love. Bring us safe through Jordan to thy home above. Thine be the glory, risen conquering song. Endless is the victory, thou only.